Hello everybody, today I'm going to be telling the story of William Palmer, also known as the Rugly Poisoner or the Prince of Poisoners. Uh, before I start, I just would like to mention that this is not the whole story, this is just the sort of major details, and it is true, it is a true story. Uh, so, um, let's begin. Once upon a time, there was an ordinary man called William Palmer. When Palmer was 17, he worked in a chemist in Liverpool, but was fired after just three months of working there after they had suspected he'd stole money. He studied medicine in London and qualified as a physician in 1846. He returned to his hometown, Staffordshire, a year later and met a plumber and glazier, George Abley, at the Lamb and Flag public house in Little Hayward. They had a drinking game which Har um, Palmer suggested and an hour later Abbey was carried home and died in bed later that evening. Nothing was ever proved but locals noticed that Palmer had an interest in Abbey's hot wife. When Palmer came to practice as a doctor he married Anne Thornton in, um, on the 7th of October 1847. His new mother-in-law, also called Anne, came to stay with the married couple but died just two weeks after um, in Palmer's house. Um, she was known to have lent him some money. Palmer became interested in horse racing, sorry I'm just going to move that, and borrowed money off Leonard Bladen, a man he had met at the races. Baden lent him £600 but died in agony at Palmer's house on 10th of May 1850. Anne was surprised to see so little money on Bladen as he just won a large sum and also his checks, his checkbook was missing so there was not actually any proof that um, Baden had lent Palmer any money. Palmer's first son, William Brooks Palmer, was born towards the end of 1846 and died on the tw and, um, 29th of April 1849. The Palmers had four more children, all of whom died as infants. Elizabeth Palmer, 6th of January, at around two and a half months. Henry Palmer, 6th of January 1852, at almost one month. Frank Palmer, 1980, 1852, about one month and John Palmer, 27th of January, 1834, at 14 days. As infant death was not uncommon at the time, no one really thought everything and anything of it until after William had died. Um, by 1854, Palmer was heavily in debt. He forged his mother's signature to pay off creditors. He took out life insurance on his wife. He he, um, he was Prince of Wales uh, soon after he did that, she died. She died on the 29th of September 1854 at only 27 years old. She believed to have died from cholera. I am so sorry, just going to move you again up here. Um, and still heavily in debt, Palmer tried to take life insurance on his brother Walter, but no company would accept, so he went back to Prince of Wales. Walter became drunk and relied on his brother, um, who piled him with bottles of gin and brandy every single day. And he died on the um, was it 16th of August, 1855, but the insurance wouldn't pay out. Instead, they sent out two invest, um, inspectors, uh, Simps, oh, sorry. They sent out Simpson and Field to investigate. Uh, John Parsons Cook, a friend of um, Palmer, in 1855 November, the pair attended the Shrewsbury Handicap Stakes and bet on various horses. Cook won £3,000 and Palmer lost heavily. Palmer and Cook went to the Raven, a local pub. Um, not long after arriving at the pub, Cook was complaining that his gin was burning his throat. Soon he was in bed and he told his two friends 
George Herring and Ishmael uh, Fisher said that he thought Palmer had been dosing him. Palmer and Cook returned home. Thinking he had recovered, Cook, um, Cook met up with Palmer, but after drinking more gin, he fell terribly sick again and soon died. It was at this point Palmer was assumed responsibility for Cook's death. Palmer was arrested on the charge of murder and forgery. The trial was held in London as there wasn't a suitable jury or another hypothesis is Palmer was popular in Rugley and would not have been found guilty by a Staffordshire jury. The Home Secretary also ordered that the bodies of Anne and Walter were to be re-examined. Walter was unfortunately decomposed, but Dr. Taylor found anatomy in all the organs of Anne's body. Uh, approximately 30,000 people were at Staffordshire Prison um, on the 14th of June to watch Palmer's hanging at the hands of George Smith. Uh, Palmer said, are you sure it's safe? And uh, Palmer's mother said, they have killed my saintly Billy. Some people didn't think that the evidence wasn't enough to convict Palmer. But on May 1946, there was Palmer's chemist bill for tendy worth of stygium and opium. Uh, so yeah, that's the story. Thank you for the viewing. And um, before he killed his wife, he cheated on her and had another child who he did not kill. The child was one when Palmer died. Um, but anyways, thank you for watching. Uh, please like and please press the button with the word subscribe on it. And yeah, thank you for watching. Goodbye.